just stopped here on the side of the road, driving by this culvert over here, and I'll show you what I found. Coyotes normally won't go through a culvert like this, but that cat sure did. He went right through, he went right through that culvert down there. Went right in there. Nice size cat. I don't know how fresh it is, but uh, I'll show it to you on the other side. There's actually two culverts here. One's tracking water, and then one is a dry culvert. And I think what I might do is put a little something down there for them for later on. You never know. Right now it's so crusty you can't run. You'll be able to see where he went under the road. He came right out of that dry culvert right there and right down the brook. And it's hard to say how long ago. Haven't had any snow for God knows how long. Doesn't look super fresh. Maybe a couple of days old. Not too many times will you have people stop and look at that. But when you see a single track going down a brook like that, that's a good indication that it's a cat. And that's a nice one. Well, another day of uh, deplorable conditions. So uh, it's an ice storm. That's all it is up here. It's crust. And we call it junk. But uh, we're scouting. And we're going to head back in the direction of uh, that big tom track that we found yesterday. See if he's moved through that culvert again. Probably is not. Because uh, we're quickly approaching, if not already, into the breeding season for these cats. And these toms make these big swings. In fact, uh, we've always said if you see a big tomcat going through the hardwoods, you're probably in for quite a hike. He's probably gone a long ways. Not always the case. You might be on the right end of the track, but uh, they're out there looking for love this time of year. You know, February's the breeding season, and we're pretty close to February right now, so without them having a calendar, they may go a week or two early. And uh, the way this winter's been uh, kind of funky, there's no telling when they're going to start. I've already seen uh, blood spots in the snow where the coyotes are coming in the heat. Maybe the female cats are too. I haven't seen any evidence of it, but uh, for sure it's the time of year that it's going to happen. So uh, these big toms making these long trips um, will cover a lot of ground. In fact, we found uh, a cat track this morning. It was old again, but we found one that was a good tom, and he was in an, an odd place crossing in a fairly open area, and I suspect he was going to a big bog, big flowage that I'm familiar with, looking for a female to breed. So that's all possible stuff. Like I said, it's another day of scouting, so we'll poke along, and we found two cats in two days, so two different cats, of course, and dogs had a good night last night, staying inside, keeping warm by the wood stove, and they appreciated that. In fact, they weren't real crazy about loading up this morning. So we'll keep you posted as time goes on.